Hey you guys, I'm Nick, aka The Roy Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install the Schematica mod in Minecraft 1.7.10. First off, we need to download Forge. To do that, go to MinecraftForge.net. It doesn't matter because it's the first link in the description. Go down there, click that. You'll be taken to this page. Once you're here, you want to find 1.7.10-latest. Go there, scroll all the way over until you see Installer right here. Click that, it will then open up AdFly where we have to wait 10 seconds. In this is exactly what I'm going to say, if you have any issues with AdFly, any issues at all, you can just simply refresh and they should work. So control R on your keyboard and they should work. Nevertheless, go ahead and click click to continue here. Then take us out to AdFly where we have to wait right up here an additional 3, 5 seconds here. Two, one, there we go. Skip ad and it will download. Once we've done that, we need to download Schematica, right? So go to mods.io slash mod says doesn't matter. Second link in the description will take you here, where you can then on the right sidebar find one seven whatever doesn't matter. MC 1.7.10. That's all you've got to make sure. Make sure it says MC 1.7.10 here. Click this little arrow, it'll drop down, click download, it will take us off to this page where we have to wait for the download to start. Sadly, it doesn't tell us how long, but it eventually does start and you can download. Next, we need to download the Lunartis Chord mod, and what this does is it enables all of Lunartisers, sorry I can't say the name, uh, mods to work, including Schematica. Once you're here, you want to go, same as downloading Schematica, to the first box right here, as you can see, MC 1.7.10. Click the little arrow, it'll drop down, click downloads, and we again have to wait a little while. While we wait, we can go ahead and click there. While we wait, we can go ahead and minimize here, and you'll see three mods. One, Forge. Two, Schematica. Three, Lortis Core. We want to start with Forge. By the way, if you don't see the mods here, simply hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R, and type in D-O-N-L-O-A-D-S, downloads, and they'll be right here. You can move into your desktop or keep them in your downloads folder, doesn't matter. Nevertheless, once you're ready, we need to start with Forge. Right-click on it, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It will then open up as this nice, clean-looking launcher. Click Install Client, and then click OK. It'll go through all this stuff, yada, yada, yada. Woohoo! Forge successfully installed. Click OK on that, and now... To install these two mods, it's very, very easy. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent %APPDATA%, percent, hit enter, and then go into .minecraft. Once you're here, you'll see a mods folder. But what if I don't see a mods folder, Nick? What if there is no mods folder? Calm down. Very, very simple to fix. Right click, new folder, then type in MODS, enter. Now, you have a mods folder. That's simple. Double click on it and then take these two mods, the Schematica mod and the Lourdes Chord mod and drag them into your mods folder here. Now, you guys are ready to open up Minecraft. I'll see you guys in the Minecraft Launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, choosing to play Forge is very, very easy. Simply go to the profile you want to play. In my case, that's Dead Buddha. Hit Edit Profile, and then you'll see right here, Use Version. Now, mine's Use Latest Version. Yours might be Release 1.7.10. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just click that, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see 1.7.10-Forge. Click that. Click Save Profile, click Play. Minecraft will now open up with the Schematica mod and the Lordis mod installed, and you will have Schematica in Minecraft 1.7.10. By the way, if you're just this black screen, don't freak out. I'll see you guys in the main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, seeing if Schematica is working is very, very easy. Simply go into a single player world. It doesn't have to be a creative world. For me, it is, because this is the world I always use. And uh, we can just hit minus, and boom, there is a GUI, a graphical user interface. Multiplication and divide and there is everything now whoa what did I just do well I just accessed all the stuff that you can figure out about and learn about in this the fourth link yes there are four links realm into this video in the description and uh, what this is is the wiki right the uh, little wiki page here where you can learn about how to use this mod so um, go there figure all of that out and uh, you can learn it and all that stuff I'm not going to do a tutorial on the mod itself, like how to use it. This is just how to install it, because how to use it is something kind of completely different. But it's not that hard. So if you go here, check this out, you'll be able to learn how to use this mod and exactly how to do it. What this mod does is it allows you to take something in another world and move it to another uh, and rebuild it and things like that. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace. 
Subscribe if you haven't already. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how you can get partnered on YouTube. I just launched a brand new YouTube network with my business partner, Patrick Fassler, and it is awesome. We're already at over 100 partners, so if you haven't jumped on that partnership train, go check out that video and see what you get with our partnership that you don't get with anybody else. And on the right is Indie Game Spotlight. I played Dust and Legion Tell last week on Indie Game Spotlight, so go check it out. It's a really, really good video and a really, really good game. So I think you'll enjoy it. Also, check out my daily vlogs, the bomb center of your screen to see what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.